It's match day at medical schools all across the country. Four-year medical students will find out where they'll complete their residencies post-graduation. And before those envelopes are opened at noon, our Rachel Ellis introduces us to one student who defines resilience, focus, and determination. Rachel, good morning. Audrey, good morning to you. Well, this Wake Forest med student has four degrees, another one on the way and has been in school for 13 years. And if that's not already incredible enough, she's a mom and has is expecting her second child come April and through the ups and downs of life, she hasn't let anything stop her from achieving her dreams. Meet Lauren West Livingston, a daughter, wife, mother and friend. She holds two master's degrees, a PhD and is about to add MD. Something that was instilled in me when I was younger is that um, any opportunity you have to get an education, to have a job or have a career, um, there are certain privileges that I'm going to have that other people will not. And if I can use my education and my job opportunities to better the lives of others, that really is what matters at the end of the day, you know. It's why she's drawn to vascular surgery, which helps to treat conditions affecting parts of the body, like veins and arteries. It's a specialty she found her passion in at Wake Forest School of Medicine. I got to work with, you know, marginalized patients that may not have seen a doctor for many, many years before they come to the vascular surgeons with the big problems. So I just I think it was my second year overall. and I just kind of was like, OK, I didn't expect to like this so much, but I really enjoy it. And so that's the field that I aspire to go into. As West Livingston looks forward to the next steps of her career, she reflects on her time at Wake Forest and the road it took to get where she is today. Seven years is a long time, so a lot of life happens in seven years. Um, so I've had like some of the best moments of my life. Like I got married in the first week of medical school, had my first kid in like year five of seven, have another one on the way. But at the same time, you know, in my first year, my father passed away. So that was like something really difficult to deal with. And on the way to becoming parents, we actually had a lot of trouble and had recurrent miscarriages and ended up doing IVF. With match day finally here, the fourth year medical student says the feeling is surreal. I try to think I'm not going to cry, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to cry when I open my envelope. Um, I'm, I'm just wherever I end up, I'll be really, really excited. She's also excited to pass on what she's learned along the way. I think we're excited to teach our children that, you know, it's important that before you're a student, before you're an employee, you're a person. So you have to focus on your life and your family. But at the same time, if when you go to work, you can feel like you're making a difference. That is something to aspire toward and something that can be really powerful. So. And match day is back in person today at Wake Forest School of Medicine for the first time in several years because of COVID-19. And those med students who match today will start their internships or residencies on July 1st. We're live this morning in downtown Winston-Salem. Rachel Ellis, WXII 12 News. Thanks so much.